Hola familia. A couple of weeks ago, a well-known YouTuber, Peter Brown, made a cutting board using a technique that makes me think, well, how can we adapt that idea to the to the root turning, to the to the lathe? So um, I was thinking about it and I decided to change a couple of things that I will tell you a little bit later. But actually what I'm gonna do because it's a first tray is I'm gonna try to do two platters with this, uh, that is gonna come out from these two blocks. One is sapelli, the other one is maple. I'm going to attach both together with double-sided tape, go to the band saw and this is gonna be a little bit longer process because I have a glue up and everything but I, I hope you have a little bit of patience and see how it works. Let's go to the band saw and let's see how it works. Well, we are going to begin with uh, double-sided tape. This is carpet tape, it's very strong. So we are going to attach the two blocks with the, with the same direction. Okay, and now we are going to cut slowly a wavy curves, not symmetric, there's no need it, to begin with our pattern. And don't push too hard to the blade we want the marks vertical or at least as vertical as possible now it's a matter of get rid of from the tape and as you can see separate by lines so we will achieve our pattern Once we are done, we are going to glue it up with plenty of glue because the, the glue is going to act as a lubricant and it's going to help to align all the pieces in place. Even the marks of the of the, so, the band saw are going to match. Now use a, a wax paper to don't to don't stick your wood to the clamps and repeat the process with the other one and clamp it and once we are done with this now we have to leave it overnight or at least a couple of hours and we are gonna scrape the excess glue at this point you can run with the thickness planner to clean it up but I think it's not necessary my mistake of course, a thickness planner will leave a better surface and will make a, a cleaner job. And we repeat the process in the other direction. So we are going to get the checkers. As you can see, we, we will achieve the checkers wobbling or crazy checkers or drunken or whatever you want to call it and repeat the process with the glue up, exactly the same, with plenty of glue. Okay, once blocks are dry, the glue have cured, it's just a matter of mark the centers 
and use a compass to draw the, to draw the circles and uh, then go to the bandsaw and cut the circles. I jump this step. And now I'm gonna hold, uh, make a hole in the center for about three quarters of an inch to use the worm screw. Please use some, your full face mask when you're at the lathe because possibly, you know, if the glue didn't set in a good manner, can any piece can fly away from from the from the block so it's, you have to pay attention to security and then I'm gonna mark the recess to mount on the on the on my chalk and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a OG shape that we also saw in a video not long ago so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go deeply in the shape you know we did it very detail in a previous video so it's just uh, uh, my choose for this job because of the soft of the curves of the OG shape will help to to see the, the wavy curves of the glue ups once you have the right shape it's just a matter of sand and apply finish the, the finish you choose if you don't have a or even if you have a, a dust collection is it's a good idea to wear a mask and now is the process to hollowing with a mask again of course uh, pay, I, I want you to, to understand that we have to pay a lot of attention to our security now it's all a matter of get the desire or the chosen shape that you do for it in my case it's a shallow bowl or a deep a deep platter uh, whatever you want to call it and once you have when i achieve the right depth just add a feature and ring to give a little bit more personality and that is a matter of sanding and finishing and we are done well this is the result okay this was the one you was I didn't pay much attention to the turning of the piece itself because we did OG shapes like this we did not a while ago we did some of them so the, the, in my in my humble opinion the important part was the process to achieve the block the the ball blank or the, the ball or plane or whatever it's a shallow ball but the process to achieve that blank is the important part uh, I'm very happy with the result in that matter because as you can see the glue ups are absolutely sharp. No marks, no gaps. I'm very happy with it. So that's the point. Uh, uh, what else? I hope you enjoy it. And uh, as I always say, any any comments, any doubts, any suggestions, you can leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe if you didn't please and if you want to help the channel you have a patreon link down below i see you on friday with a follow-up of this project in the meantime have a wonderful weekend see you soon bye bye